英国ゲーム内には乱暴な言葉遣い明るい光の点滅精神病に関する会話トラウマを経験しているキャラクター暴力と血の表現そして胸と正規の表現が含まれますまだ開発中でありリリース前に大幅に変更される可能性もございます開発者はソーシャルメディアにおける表示名を変更する可能性もございます This is Rokio An other game designer, award winning filmmaker, sensitive soul, and definitive specimen of masculinity. After writing the game Infinite Jonathan's, putting on indie game pop ups at New York's Baby Castles and Microsoft Technology Center, torturing the cast of Recreo like a sadist dungeon master, Rohil finds himself here on this couch in front of a green screen. Curating and sharing the independent video games that made him feel something real. Indie game feeling this. this is Indie Game Feels. That's right. Ask and ye shall receive、uh, another asshole in front of a green screen making content. You're welcome. This is Indie Game Feels, the show where I curate and share some of the independent games that made me feel. Something real. I'm your host, Rohil, aka Indie Game Daddy. I'm like Octomom's boyfriend's never cat, man. Just playing. I stay safe, man. I'm just saying. Tune that ass in my DM. I'm a, I'm a narrative designer, a filmmaker, and,、uh, and an emotional man. So my opinion is, is highly respected in,、uh, in the independent games community and also hip hop. Hip hop respects me, and,、uh, and then、uh, chaotic gay emo kids too. What I'm trying to say is that、uh, I'm beloved、uh, within the communities that matter the most. The first game I played for this episode is called Critters for Sale by Sonoshi. This project is、uh, a mesmerizing. A、mimetic and just an unsettling、uh, collection of short stories,、uh, all dealing with themes、uh, of the occult. So, you pick one of the stories, they're titled、uh, Goat, uh, Snake, Monkey, Spider, and、uh, Dragon. I,、uh, I started off with Goat for obvious reasons. My character's name is Jafar. Bro, <laughs> this, game, this game really just called me Jafar. I don't know、uh, how, how to feel about that. But I am going to, I, I'm, I'm straight up, I'm gonna register that as a microaggression. This game has me wandering the harsh deserts with MC Ride of Death Grips. And、uh, I, I listen to a lot of Death Grips music, but I would pick anyone else, anyone else, to be stranded in a f desert with.、Uh, if I were to make a list of bands most likely to cannibalize me in the desert, I'm gonna put Death Grips、uh, in at least. The, the top 20. I'm very fond of animals.、Uh, I love animals, but this goat、uh, is clearly on Team Satan. Oh, oh no. And he has. And the goat has murdered MC Ride. And. Oh, here we go. And the goat has murdered me. Brilliant. Oh,、uh, nah.、Uh, maybe next time I'm wandering the desert and I'm feeling、uh, a different way about life. I think the other short story I played through was titled Snake. I found myself in this like b u r g i n e ass nightclub partying with Michael Jackson. Then, after meeting someone named、uh, the Second Noid Man, I unlocked all world knowledge. I think. I, I think that's what happened. So. Bless. I'm a big fan of remix culture. I love the, the repurposing and recontextualization of, of imagery in this game. I love the warping animation. It creates this very this unearthly but magnetic feeling to it. Everything is very cohesive uh, aesthetically. Uh, from the story imagery to the UI, this is actually one of my favorite projects from a visual standpoint. That, uh, that I've played through recently. One of the things that I, that I enjoy the most about indie development is when you play through a game and you can kind of connect with the developer, not just in terms of the narrative they're presenting, but in terms of just knowing that you and the person who made this thing have consumed 
the same art or have come up experience having similar uh, experiences in terms of the content they've taken in the things that we've seen it feels like we speak uh, a similar language and i think that's that's one of my favorite fucking things about uh, independent game development and just going through and playing more obscure titles. Highly recommend you check this one out. Uh, I give it uh, a, a 666 six, six Baphomet uh, out of a possible uh, 10. Also, unrelated, uh, I'm wearing my favorite t shirt. It says uh, Sigourney. It looks like I'm fucking flashing you, my goddamn. B cup titties. It says Sigourney Weaver on it uh, because my love for Sigourney Weaver is endless. The first Alien movie is one of my all time uh, favorite films. But check out GullsOnTopsTees.com. This is obviously not like a sponsored thing. This is just, I just love what they do. Just these really clean tees with uh, the names of iconic women in film. Some of the proceeds go to uh, funding female led projects in the film industry. If you are looking for beats, to study slash relax to, then this next game is for you. Lo-Fi Room by Bear Mask Studios. Find the instruments hidden around the room and then enjoy some casual rhythm play as these skeletal lo-fi beats come together. The art style reminds me of Scott McCloud. The whole thing actually has this very webcomic uh, vibe. It's a very homey aesthetic that works well, of course, with making lo-fi beats. And there's so much uh, attention to the sort of like Easter egg element of the room's interactivity. Everything you click on will give you some kind of feedback, which uh, I appreciate. You can also create your own beats. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the instruments and recording capabilities progress. When I see projects like this as someone who also makes music and edits videos, spending an ungodly amount of time staring at digital audio workstations and video editing software. I can't help but think like, damn, we really need to make creative tools more playful. If you worked in, in Ableton, Logic, <laughs> the fucking user interface is soul destroying. It's so drab to look at these things. The tools that you have to use to create all of this beautiful, engaging, colorful art. It's, it's so counter. Hit me up if you have examples of, of really interesting creative tools that incorporate play into the UI. I'd be keen to check that out. We need to make creative tools more playful, man. The idea of more animated, gamified music production tools especially uh, excites me. I just want music production to feel like I'm fucking around with my friends again, trying different instruments, different plugins. Even though like my access is just to the, the digital versions of those things, I still, I wanted to feel at least close uh, to what it feels just experimenting with hardware in that way. it for this episode these are my socials you can follow me there and hit me up just don't be a fucking cornball uh and we will be all good take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon